outside. I'm here in the First Little Weather Center with First Little Meteorologist Patrick Pete. It is hard to beat this afternoon. Just walking in here, I was like, this is nice. Yeah, all Let's bottle this up, right? All we're waiting for were the clouds to break, and that allowed us to get into the 60s. Feels great outside mm -hmm. uh, after this newscast is over. If you want to go for a quick 30 minute jog and then check on out what's going on live at five, <laughs> time to give you the green light. Yeah, like, like, perfect timing. 62 <laughs> degrees right now here in Atlanta, 61 Marietta, Lawrenceville at 60, upper 50s in Athens. Nobody's hating these numbers out there, and they're going to stay pretty comfortable through the next couple of hours. Eventually, though, after the sun sets, clear skies, temperatures will plummet. We'll talk about sliding yet again into the 30s, expecting us to wake up near 37 degrees here in Atlanta. But once you leave the city, it's low to mid 30s at best, even some upper 20s at higher elevations. So another cold night, a little bit below average 40s, the benchmark for the mornings, and we're all going to be below that. Meanwhile, dry for your Wednesday and even Thursdays, mainly dry. We're watching for some rain that's going to slide into the area late Thursday evening. It looks like the best chance of that rain is going to happen roughly between 11 and 3 a.m. By the time you get out on the roads, things trend drier and Saturday and Sunday are looking pretty dry as well. Sunshine ruling the day. The kids will need that light jacket at the bus stop. 37 degrees at 7 a.m. But lunchtime forecast has us already in the mid 50s, easily sliding into the 60s by the time they're done with school. Mid 60s for the four o'clock hour. 65 will be our high. Your wind down Wednesday is feeling pretty good too as well. 55 degrees through the 8 o'clock hour. We'll see the clouds gradually increase through the overnight. And as we start off the day on Thursday, uh, we'll not be as cold. We're talking low to mid 40s across most of the region. Winds are going to be out of the south, and that's what's going to allow those temperatures to climb through the day. Despite the cloud cover, I still expect us to get to the 60s by lunchtime, getting into the mid to upper 60s through the afternoon. And then we're going to watch for some of that moisture that's going to trickle in. You can see a little bit of rain trickling in at around 8, very isolated, but the most um, coherent line of showers will push in roughly at 11 into northwest Georgia, sliding through the metro at 2 a.m. And as we approach four or five, things really start to clear out. Winds will shift on the backside of that, and we do expect slightly cooler temperatures in store for your Friday. Really going to be cold. Uh, for the start of your Saturday morning. As far as the rain totals are concerned, not overly impressive. We're talking about two tenths of an inch for most folks. Some isolated locations could get a little bit more than that. We fall to 64 on Friday, so a little bit cooler, but you will notice a difference on Saturday. We'll be a little bit breezy. Temperatures are going to hit 60 degrees for us here in the city, upper 50s in the suburbs. Sunday is looking gorgeous. Topping out in the mid 60s with lots of sunshine. I think some areas south of town could get into the upper 60s and then we're headed for the 70s early next week. 71 Monday, more clouds on Tuesday and we're watching a system that could bring some rain chances as early as next Wednesday.